don't know how they do it, Rach. Do what? Actually live in water. I think it would be fun. I'll let you in on a secret. I might be an amazing little mouse, but when it comes to water, I'm just a big chicken. But I thought you crossed the Red Sea with Moses. Uh, yeah, but at that time it had a nice dry path down the middle. If it had required swimming, I'd have been fish food in about two seconds. Oh, that reminds me. Shana Tova! Happy New Year, Moby! But I did put it back. Then where is it, David? Somebody must have taken it. Uh-oh, here we go again. Oh, uh, oh, why is everybody always blaming me for losing stuff? Uh, uh, it's not my fault. Uh, uh, hey, maybe I left it over there. Uh, 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 oh, hi, Amitzva. Hey, Mobes. <laughs> hey, Rachel, can I feed him? I already did. Oh. Hi, Moby. <laughs> Hello. David, <laughs> he's eating. Oh, why do you always get to have all the fun? He's both of our fish. You'll get your chance when I'm at Sarah's house this weekend. Oh, yeah, I forgot about your sleepover. Hey, then it'll just be us guys, huh? David, <laughs> have you found it? Uh, oh, oops. Gotta go. <laughs> See ya, Mobes. Any luck? Uh-uh. Today is Rosh Hashanah. It's almost our sundown, and the rabbi is counting on me to usher in the new year. Can't you just say Happy New Year? No, we're commanded to blow a ram's horn. For that, you need a shofar. Your father has been practicing a whole year for this. David, please try to remember where you left it. And hurry, we have to get to the synagogue. Why is it automatically my fault? <laughs> Rachel found it. <laughs> yeah, it was right there with David's talit bag and David's kippah and David's prayer book. <laughs> wow, what an amazing coincidence, huh? <laughs> uh, David, at this time of year, we try to improve ourselves. And change our bad habits. So please, try to keep track of your things. That would be a big improvement. Yeah, David. Hey. And you could try being a little nicer to your brother. <gasps> yeah, Rachel. <laughs> oh, boy. These two are off to a good start. Listen. The sound of the shofar is supposed to be a wake-me-up. Yeah, it's like an alarm clock that says it's time to be a better you. I don't get it. During these days of all, according to our law, we think of our bad habits and mistakes. During these days of all, we search each tiny flaw For the time has come When each of us away On Rosh Hashanah we celebrate It's a brand new year It's another chance to be A brand new you Before we meditate And if we're sincere When we say we're sorry For what we've done Something, something wonderful, wonderful has begun A better me A better me We'll be there When I look into the mirror You will we'll see things so much, much clearer And although I'm getting nearer To being who I want to be a better me, a better me will be there when I'm walking down the street. From your head down to your feet, to the people that I meet, I'll be obviously, will be obviously, a better me, a better me, a better me. Hey David, where are you going? Uh, uh, I forgot my kippah and my talit bag and my prayer book. Oh, I wonder where they are. Huh? Mm. What do you think? Mm. This is traditional for the Jewish high holidays? Oh, yes. We eat apples and honey mm. in hopes of a sweet new year. A great <laughs> idea. Thanks, Mr. Boomstein. Bye-bye. Oh, Shana Apples and honey? No, thank you. What? It's delicious. Well, more for me. Ah, uh -huh, <laughs> uh, David. Yeah? Apples and honey? Uh, no thanks. I'm taking Moby for a walk. <laughs> uh, 
A fish is going for a walk. Where's his leash? <laughs> Don't be silly, Grandpa. <laughs> huh? He's walking a fish, and I'm silly.、Uh, are you sure this is a good idea, David? Don't worry. Now, Moby, this is what the front of the store looks like, and over there is the Hernandez Fruit Market. Do you like fruit, Moby? Well, maybe we can get you some after we come back from the park. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, you did. Oh, that was nice. And how's Uncle Bob? All right, Rachel. We'll see you in the morning. Uh huh. Sleep tight, honey. All right. Bye bye. Uh, David. Rachel says to be sure to give Moby his afternoon treat. Uh huh. David, honey, what's wrong? Shalom and welcome once again to Olive Bet Theater. Today we debut that distinctive and dynamic Hebrew letter, Dalit. Are you ready to demonstrate your sound, Dalit? Definitely. Then do so. Dear, ha, delightful. And now our dramatist will display the Hebrew word for honey. <laughs> Dear, vash, vash, honey. Oh yes, very good, very good. Thank you, letters. You may leave now. We can't. We're stuck. Oh dear, dear. Vash is a sticky word. What a dilemma for Dalit and his friends. Oh yes, apples and honey do love to stick together. And so there's another episode of Olive Bet Theatre. Until next time, have a sweet New Year. Hey, wait for me. Hey. Swimming for Little Folks, Chapter One. The water can be frightening at first. <laughs> You're telling me. But with a few easy lessons, you too can be swimming like a fish. Huh, a silly fish is the whole reason I'm doing this. Well, maybe things will work out with David and Rachel, and I won't have to learn to swim. I had a great time. I'm just gonna go check on Moby. Oh, stroke, 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 stroke. Hi, <laughs> David. Huh? What happened to Moby? <gasps> Moby? Uh, he shrunk. Oh no. I better go and call the vet.、Uh, David, that fish is cute, but it is not Moby. Now, what really happened? Uh, 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 oh, it was just too awful. I didn't want to tell you the truth.、Uh, it, what? What happened? It, it was terrible. What? What was terrible? Uh, 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 fish burglars. <gasps> <laughs> And the police are searching everywhere. David,、huh? remember the time you ate my leftover sandwich? <gasps> Me? Oh no 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 no! That was sandwich burglar. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, salad. <laughs> well, yeah, but that was real. Uh huh. So you admit that this time you're making it up? Well, well. All right. I took him for a walk, and and somebody stole him, and and that's the truth. I think. You lost Moby.、Uh, he was stolen. I said. You took a fish for a walk. Well, in his bowl, and I put him down for one second, and that's the last I ever saw of him. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, it's not my fault. 
I didn't do anything wrong. David. Mitzvah, you gotta help me. I know all about it. Well, well how? Remember, I'm a magical mouse. Yeah? I also have very thin walls. So, what should I do? You should listen to a story. Oh, oh great. This one's called The Book of Jonah. Ha, huh. hey, Jonah's my dad's name. Well, this Jonah was very special, too. In fact, God asked him to do something super-duper important for him. Jonah was supposed to go to the people of the city of Nineveh and ask them to change their ways, to stop being bad and start doing good instead of evil, or they would be destroyed. Uh, wait, for this part I need music. Ahem. Well, Jonah was afraid to even go to the wicked city of Nineveh. So he got a boat to take him as far from Nineveh as he could go. Well, he thought he could hide from God? <laughs> Silly, huh? Yeah. Kind of like trying to hide from the truth, isn't it? Oh, um, so, so what happened? There was a terrible storm at sea. Oh, oh! And Jonah was cast overboard into the raging waters. Whoa! help! Ah! <coughs> I, I hate this part. Did he drown? No, he got swallowed by a whale. Well, did he ever get out? Not yet. Not yet? It's time to learn the rest of the story in person. Well, Aleph! Uh, Miss Aleph, well, where are we going? Blast So I chickened out. Uh, uh, Miss Aleph? <laughs> Hey, kid! Huh? Don't cry. You'll get used to it. Especially if you're like plankton in old shoes. You'll get used to it real fast. <laughs> Filet of soul? Hey, wait a minute. I know who you are. You do? Oh, yeah, you're famous. They wrote a whole book about you. Yeah, no, really. You're the guy who jumped into the ocean. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you got swallowed by a whale. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Geppetto! <laughs> Where's Pinocchio, huh? Oh, Lord, do I have to hear this? Wait a minute. Jonah? Yeah. Yeah. So you do know me. Yeah, sure. You're the guy who disobeyed God. Yeah. Shh. You see, that's how rumors get started. You mean you didn't? Absolutely innocent. It's those people in Nineveh. They're a bunch of evil sinners. That is just so unfair that you're here. You're telling me? You must have done something terrible to end up here. <laughs> Not that I did. Well, no, no, it's just that, um, you know, my sister's fish got stolen while I was taking care of them. Really, not my fault at all. Uh -huh. So you lost a fish? Uh, uh, it was stolen, I said. Right. That is so unfair. Yeah, really. So neither one of us did anything to get here. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, just, um, just asking here, but, uh, is it true those people in Nineveh are gonna die because you didn't warn them? You got a problem with that? Well, well, no, no, it's just that, uh, you know, maybe you could have gone to Nineveh and just sort of, well, uh, mention the fact that they're about to be destroyed? Sure, just walk in. You know what they do to prophets in Nineveh? They frighten and they take it down the door for living in it's disgusting. You don't want to. So tell me, exactly what did happen with this little fish of yours? Well, well, you know, I took him for a walk, and I guess I must have just um put him down on a bench or something. I don't know. You took a fish for a walk? Well, yeah. All right. I guess it was partly my fault. Ha! Ha! Uh, oh! What was that? It's all right. The fish must have eaten something that disagreed with him. Yes, it's a shame about Moby. I just hope David's learned something from this. Well, I doubt it, since he didn't even apologize. Well, give him a chance, Rachel. He's had lots of chances. He gets away with everything. Uh, one won't apologize, one won't forgive. It's like Mazeda used to say. Either way, it's like being in the belly of a whale. What whale? 
Well, you've heard of Jonah and the whale? No. Oh, well, it's a good story. Come on, I'll tell you this. You see, uh, God has Jonah. Huh. All right. I'm going. I'm going. Huh. Uh. I liked it much better when it was just me and Blubber Belly here. Imagine that kid pointing the finger at me. What does he know about it? He wasn't even there. Everybody loses stuff. Just mentioning they'd be destroyed, huh? Might not be so risky, actually. There are thousands of innocent people in Nineveh. I shouldn't have taken Moby out of the store. What was I thinking of? Trying to hide from God. <laughs> it's absurd. <laughs> Adam couldn't hide from God. Moses couldn't hide from God. Nobody can hide from God. Maybe that's why he never has any surprise parties. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have run away. I didn't want to admit that I was wrong. It's all my, my fault. fault. <laughs> 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 I feel better. Me too. Oh, please give me another chance. Uh, uh, I'll try harder. Uh, if I ever see my sister again, I'll, I'll kiss her toes. Uh -huh. uh, Rachel? That's the sister? Uh, yeah. And you are? Uh, a little nervous at the moment. I thought you knew everyone in Jewish history. Eh, just the dry people. Oh. Rachel, uh, I'm really sorry. I was a jerk. Yeah, I was a jerk, too. I never knew what a jerk was. I still don't know, but I'm sure I am, right? Oh, yeah. He knows. Please, give me another chance. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I was just kidding about the toes, Rachel. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? Jonah's about to be coughed up on dry land. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Bermuda Schwartz, host of Sheer Power, and I'm here with my good buddy and fellow songwriter, Sam Glazer. How you doing, Sam? Great, Bermuda. All right. You know, Sam has set the first prayer of the morning, Mo De Ani, to music. Cool idea. Thanks. And some of my young friends in the performing group Yad Biyad are going to sing and dance it for us. That is awesome. Let's check it out.
Say, you know, Mode Ani means I give thanks. And I give thanks right now to Sam Glazer and those terrific kids. Say, speaking of kids, I wonder if David and Rachel got out of that whale okay. Let's find out. <laughs> it's okay. We're back. We're back. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dry land. Oh, I got something really important to take care of. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Huh, so great, huh? David apologized. He's really, really sorry. Well, I'm still angry. Sometimes saying you're sorry isn't enough. You know, you're right, Rach. It's not enough. Apologizing is just the first part. Forgiving is the second part. Well, I don't forgive him. He doesn't deserve it. Huh. She's still down there in the belly of the whale. Huh? Listen, kiddo. You know that everybody makes mistakes. Hey, we're only human. <laughs> well, some of us are mice. I get the point. Oh, so I'm getting through? I guess so. Ha! <laughs> Though forgiving isn't easy, Rach If you go on fuming You'll miss a chance To look within So something wonderful can begin A better me? A better you will be there When you look into the mirror So forgiving makes things clearer? Yes, and you'll be nearer To being who you want to be a better me, a better me will be there when I'm walking down the street. From your head down to your feet, to the people that you meet, you'll be obviously, obviously, a better me, a better me, a better we. If you see our fish. He's a really special one, okay? Yeah, uh, let us know if he comes around. He's been crawling around in his own little bowl. Um, his name's Moby. He's really special and we love him a lot. So if you could bring him back, I'd really appreciate it. Could you, uh, take a fire, please? Oh, almost Yom Kippur. Let's go! David! Yeah? I need to talk to you. It's okay. About Moby, I mean. I know you feel bad. Is this the place, Mommy? <sighs> Outfit books? Uh, yes? We've got a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'm forgiven? You are forgiven. Hey, look who's here! <laughs> oh, wow! Hey, that's great! <laughs> Moby, yay! <laughs> How did you know it belonged here? We've had the flyers all over the streets. Ha, flyers? Yeah, well, I thought, uh, just in case he wasn't stolen, maybe someone would see the flyers and bring them back. <laughs> David! Mm. What a great idea. Say, would you like a fish of your own? We happen to have an extra. Sure. Come on. Uh, but hurry. I don't want to miss the rabbi's sermon. It's uh, going to be a beauty. Oh, what's it about, Grandpa? It's called the Book of Jonah. You've heard of it? Uh, kind of. <laughs> huh, you know, he was named after me. <laughs> <laughs> you see, David, a whale comes along and eats up a whole man. Uh, no kidding. Yeah. Huh. It's really fantastic. It was a very exciting story. Oh, there he is. Moby. <laughs> Moby. <laughs> 